now that we've got our back plate off, we're going to take our crankshaft out and you can see the rope is not attached to the shaft. Uh, this happens rarely, but on occasion it will happen where maybe the knot might have came through or broke here. So the rope is in here, the rope's intact, but it's become detached from the crank assembly. So first job obviously is to take the crank assembly out. So now that our crank is out, we're gonna just fish the rope through this hole. I use a little hook tool like this. Another really great thing to do is just take a coat hanger, put a little hook like that on the end of the coat hanger. It works just as good, if not better. One last suggestion, uh, if you've ever seen one of these, these, this is a mechanics pickup tool. It has a little light on the end of it. Just press the thumb and it comes apart. This is really great to be able to see what's going on in there and grab it. But if you don't have one of these, just use something with a hook on the end and you're eventually going to get a hold of the rope. See how easy I did that. I'm just going to pull the rope through. So there's the end of our rope. If you have to trim it, go ahead and do that. But then you're just going to slide it back through your hole. You're going to tie a knot. So after we put it through the hole, we're going to tie a knot. So I'll catch on the crank. Now we're just going to take our rope. Start with a knot, get it pushed through the hole, kind of gently work all the rest of the rope into the hole. So now we're just working our rope back in there with the crank assembly. Now we've got our crank back in. Now we're just going to put our two bolts and our back cover plate back on and you've reattached the rope.